be great if you can keep the stuff you absolutely love for a long time, but you have to take care of these fabrics. And some of the fabrics are a little bit more particular that you might have in your home or in your wardrobe. So we're gonna talk about storage. We're gonna talk about care yes. for the specialty fabrics. Right, as you said, around your home, you have so many different textiles and a lot of them are very finicky. They're very yeah. specialty and you don't wanna ruin them. You wanna preserve what you have. Whether it's between seasons or maybe for a special event, you're often putting things away, pulling them out. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do before you pack everything up is first of all mend it if there's a little hole or something uh, take that fix that wash it and then put it away so right. I'm gonna give you some good washing tips for everything around your home including that pillow that looks like a hard one you know what this is not hard actually so this is a cowhide pillow yeah. and cowhide actually repels dirt okay. it doesn't stay on there so as long as the dirt is dry you can just brush it off using a dry brush in the direction of the grain mm -hmm. and then whenever you are buying pillows make sure you're looking for ones where the cover comes off yes. because that's key Life right <laughs> um, and then around your kitchen uh, whether you have a linen tablecloth or if you have something with adornments you want to make sure that you wash it very carefully mm -hmm. linen can be washed on a delicate cycle with cold water and then after you um, lay it flat to dry you can iron it while it's still damp that'll keep it nice and crisp okay. uh, if you have like tassels or embroidery or something that's really delicate whether it's on a table runner or a blanket or anything anything like that, um, because it might get distorted in the washing machine, the best thing to do is to spot treat it um, yes. or hand wash that. Um, a rug, if you have a large rug, you can spot treat your rug or steam it regularly. If you have a smaller one like this one, which I love, That's how gorgeous lovely. is this? Um, check the tag to see if it can go in the washing machine. Okay. And if you have a very small drum at home, you can take it to the laundromat. That is really key with anything around your home. Always check the tag yes. because it will tell you how you should wash it. And when in doubt, use less heat less agitation and a more mild detergent. That'll keep your textiles okay. lasting longer. All right. So a Blankets. beautiful wool blanket. Yes, yeah. that can go in the washing machine as long as it's on a gentle cycle. Yeah. And you want to look for a, um, a, a detergent that is specifically for wool or silk. It won't have proteins in it that would break down those natural oh. fibers. Um, so you want to look in the, in the label under the ingredients. Anything with ASE is a protein, so make sure it doesn't have that. Okay. Um, and and yeah, those are some great tips. So everything here, when you're storing fabrics for your home, you can roll them up so that when they're stored for a long time, you don't have those hard creases or wrinkles. Okay. And make sure you don't put them in plastic because they need to breathe, they need air. Um, there might be a little bit of bacteria or a little bit of moisture in something that you don't even realize. Yes. So if you seal it up in a plastic tub, it's uh -huh. gonna grow, rot, will do all that. Bad okay. Stuff, so. so roll it up, um, put it in a nice draw, dry spot so that yes. when it gets to Christmas dinner, you're not pulling out the exactly. tablecloth with a huge <laughs> wine stain in the right, middle. You don't want like that. Like I do every year. Right. Like, surprise, <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> so make sure you clean um, it before you put it away. Yes, and anything that's like any vintage linens, anything really delicate, you can put an acid free white tissue paper in between to protect oh, all the layers. Yes. All these uh, beautiful soft furnishings are from Marshalls. So, you know, beautiful. they've got uh, designer stuff at a fraction of the prices, including home furnishings. So. Now, moving into this area, yes. uh, are we going to talk a little bit about care? Absolutely. So okay. let's talk how to wash everything before you're packing it away. Again, even with your clothes, don't put it in plastic tubs. Um, with a down jacket, mm -hmm. you can wash this on a gentle cycle with cold water. When yep. you throw it in the dryer, add some dryer balls. So what these, do those do? These ones are wool. They kind of add air and space mm -hmm. in between all of your layers of fabric, so it helps them to dry faster. Okay. With the um, um, with the down, it helps to pound it out so it stays yes. nice and fluffy. And then if you buy the wool ones, it has a little bit of lanolin in it, so it does give a little bit of anti-static. So oh, they're okay. extra awesome. I have six of these at home that wash with everything. Good. Um, what do you do with these? Like leather. faux leather or leather? Leather, you want to let it dry. If it gets wet, let it dry naturally. Always protect it beforehand. You can use a spot cleaner, but if you have something really, uh, really dirty, take it to a dry cleaner that specializes in yes. leather care. Yeah. Um, blazers or men's jackets in the front, whether yeah. it's a suit or, or even a woman's blazer, the more you dry clean it, the more that will wear down the fibers. So it's best okay. to steam it. That will kill bacteria, kill odors, and it will keep your garments lasting longer. And okay. then anything that's really delicate and finicky, you know, cold water wash, gentle cycle, sequins, throw it inside out mm -hmm. um, and in a garment bag. And silk, make sure you're using that same no enzyme, no protein um, 
uh, detergent. detergent. Yes, it will say, you know, wool and silk, or it will say for lingerie, for right. delicate fabrics. Okay, yeah. treat your delicates delicately.